Hi. Well, I was a little too close to my mic when I recorded this, so I'm very breathy and very loud. Uh, uh, apologies in advance. Sorry. Hi, howdy, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Your pal starts here today with a, another video. Today, we are doing something very simple and playing only 15 minutes at a time of Minecraft version 1 until I can do nothing again in the game when we'll update. We're going to briefly stand up, close my door, and here we go. So this is in a speed run, uh, 15 minutes minimum, but that way I'm not overestimating or underestimating my ability here. Okay, let's see. Oh, what a what a handsome start. For any any sort of islands anywhere near, that'd be nice. None that I can see. Um, well, that's uh, that's some rotten luck. It's fine though. We're gonna just keep it. We're gonna take it. We're gonna run with it. So let's uh, let's get going. We're gonna swim up this way. Hopefully, we find something. Looks like the land the land underwater there touches. Yep, there's some grass. So we're gonna swim over that away. We'll try and use the render bug if I can. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. Unfortunately. This was not a good seed. I did not expect this. Um, they can't swim because this is Minecraft point one, zero point, or 1 point zero. This is the first official release of the game. So we might be in a little bit of a pickle, unfortunately, as it is. I believe in modern Minecraft, and that's me speaking on without any sort of credentials or anything that allow me to do that. Versions 1.20 point something or whatever. Um, all the way back to, I think, 1.14. I don't believe those, those seeds allow you to spawn without any trees nearby, but I could just be talking out of my posterior here. I don't know. I'm half tempted to get back to my spawn island and just look down and start punching. Uh, I don't know if that's very advisable though. Let's see if I can see anything under the water here. Not very much. There is a, there is a, I think a water, an underwater ravine right here though. Let's see how far down this goes. Probably not very far by the looks of it. Nope, not very far at all. Hopefully we'll make it back up to the surface in time. We did, very wonderful. There's another island mass over there. Let's hope that that island mass has trees of any sort. I know, I know. Uh, today's episode, which I'm going for a daily thing here. I should have 15 minutes daily that I can do this. Uh, I should be able to find something here. And we're gonna stick with this world, we're not changing. I am determined here. I am determined I am. I really do hope we find some semblance of wood in a moderately reasonable amount of time. Otherwise, episode one is just me swimming the entire time. In fact, what I may do is I may cut to a time lapse here. And once I find wood, I will relax just a tad. Looks like there is no wood. Wow. Charming. Alright. Well, we were going in this way to begin with, so I say we continue going this way. Uh, if, if we've just now gotten back after a time lapse, uh, it's because I said we were going to, but perhaps I've been speaking enough and it's been making up the dead air that there is a good possibility we're still we're still alive there's pumpkins and sugarcane on this island so i think we'll go for those as well looks like there's just the one tree here too as unfortunate as that is excuse me come on slow and steady 
each piece of this will be equivalent and worth at least until we get enough saplings to make it a non sequitur as gold. Are there any other trees around? No, but that's, we're gonna use that right there. I must have abused that, it's like there's anything to abuse. Okay, so we'll use the first two pieces of our very precious wood on a crafting table. I cannot remember for the life of me if letting the leaves decay is better for sapling rates or not, but I'm going to just let that happen. I'm going to use this wooden pickaxe to mine as much cobble as possible, so we no longer need to use wood for tool heads. Which now, that we have tools in the first place, we should be good. That being said, I don't have enough wood to make charcoal for torches, so we are going to have to go into the very dark, very, uh, so far deep cave here without light. Unfortunate as it is, this is what we kind of, uh, and there's a skeleton. That's kind of what we have to do is that looks, oh, all that looks like coal, so I think we have found, yep, and he's shooting at me. Which I expected, given, but I would rather appreciate not dying yet, if I can help it. And we've got a piece of coal here. Now, it, I'm not sure if it's worth it to spend that coal on some torches, considering how currently limited our resources are. Why not? I want to see, and you gotta have an aspect of... Oh, that's nice. Never mind, that was worth it. Let's see what we're working with here. Well, got some distance on that one. Okay, so now that we have wood, let's uh, let's get two things. Ouch. Okay, I'm going to die. Which I don't want to do since I only just now found wood, so I think the best bet is probably to leave that section of cave. I hear mobs up here. Not the best. There's a creeper. We don't want you to blow up our crafting table. That'd be rather unfortunate. I'll hit him with my fist since I don't want to waste the durability of my pickaxe here. Looks like he can't pathfind to explode unless I get really close while we're in the water here. And he's going to do it anyway, but he's not going to do any damage while we're in the water. Perfect. I can't remember in what version do zombies drop carrots and potatoes, but we'll take their rotten flesh as a good settlement. going to kill us. That didn't even bring us high enough to fulfill the majority of our hunger here. This is not a good spot. Not at all. Run it. I'm gonna book it. This is very not good, very much so in fact. Potentially worst case scenario here. Can't let any of these guys hit me. Give me more than two pieces of rotten flesh, can you see? Well, that's what I wanted anyway. Good roll. Come on, health, start regenning. Skeletons are over there. I think that guy's still locked on to me, perhaps. Okay, 15 seconds of hunger. I'm getting a lot of my health back. I cannot tell for the life of me if he sees me. If he doesn't, then I can probably bait that guy into hitting him for me. And they can fight. Or as 
healthy as we can be. He's gonna hit me. Oh my goodness, he- I was gonna say, oh my goodness, he didn't hit me. That was crazy. Okay, take care of me. Oh, all right, all right, so we're not doing good. Let's go kill some zombies for some rotten flesh to get us back to a decent amount of health, because we can take them with the sword. Conserve energy. Perfect. Free, uh, free hunger there. That was good. This is very, 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 very not the best case scenario here. I'd like to have enough string to make a fishing rod, but this is going to be a very, very, very sketchy fight. Not enough. I spam. Oh my goodness. That was huge. Okay. So now we can get fish. Since there is little to no mobs uh, over in this area at the moment, I think fish is going to be our best bet. Hey, are you there? Okay. Okay. Breathe. Oh, you got himself in a bad spot there. Can't let him see me, or else I'm, I am actually going to be dead. Um. Moon's almost uh, almost down. We've been going for way longer than I intended to, but this got intense very quickly. Very, very quickly. There was a stray piece of dirt somewhere in this area here. I know there was. I don't think the skeleton will follow me all the way over there. We'll take the XP. Give him as big of birth as we can. And then... When the sun comes up, some more things are spawning. When the sun comes up, we'll hopefully have some peace from the mobs. We'll wait for that tree to grow when the sun comes up. Or when, well, well, when the sun comes up, that tree should be growing. We'll make a fishing rod. We'll stand on that block when night hits, and then we'll fish until day comes. And I'll save this torch for that, that block over there. This is a very... Very, this is a significantly more interesting start than... Oh my goodness. How about that? What are the chances? I cannot remember what the chances are, are that of, of that happening in this version. That's crazy. Okay, well, um, I'm going to just kind of stand my ground here. Hopefully nobody strays too close. We're gonna fast forward. That's so cool. That is so cool. We're gonna fast forward uh, to when that goes down, and then uh, that comes up. So uh, begin fast forward now. Hello there. Two of these things spawned. Two free. Okay, that was wonderful. Good luck. Two uh, Endermen spawned um, while I was uh, just waiting, and now this gentleman is just kind of just kind of there. Okay, so let's make one of these. Okay, that'll be our night activity, since I don't see any mobs whatsoever, and I don't think we will be seeing any mobs for a time uh, during the night. And that's what we'll use the coal for, I think. We'll use that. I probably could have holed up in here, actually, now that I'm looking at this. Let us, let us make it a little habitable, and we'll have our storage, and this'll be just home base until I have enough, 
and I have accumulated enough saplings, which I just noticed I have one in my inventory, let's go plan it. I've accumulated enough saplings to bring them to Spawn Island, and then we'll make that our residence. So, yeah. 